Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna take a look at a couple different optics from Zulissi. I'd never heard of them, um, but they sent me some optics to look at, so we're gonna shoot them, we're gonna zero them, we're gonna see how well they hold up, and uh, we'll just go from there. We'll just go after it. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so like I said, these optics are from Zulissi, this company right here, all right? We have the Oak, which is an RMR pattern optic, and then we have an otter, which is an RMSC pattern, right? So we have the oak on our uh, SIG M17 slides, right? Our SIG 320. Uh, already got that guy already laser bore sided and mounted. Hopefully he's mounted properly and he's going to hold up. The screws uh, that came with this, a little bit short, so there's not a whole lot of meat holding them in. Not sure how that's going to pan out. Hopefully nothing happens that's bad. Um, hopefully everything works out perfectly fine. That's the only thing I can say. And, I mean, you really have to supply a whole lot of different screw sizes of all different kinds. Which they do provide like four different kinds of screws to hold these guys in for your different mounts. But you can't fit every single mount that's out there. And this is an adapter plate on top of, you know, a SIG 320. So I give them a little bit of grace there. So we're going to go from there. But I think it's going to be fine. I think it's got enough thread engage engagement we're going to be good. Um, the other one, the Otter, this is the RMSC footprint guy. Um, he's mounted up, and he mounted up perfectly fine. Um, I actually did my cold bore shot today, and this was just bore sided, and I hit my target at 10 yards. Yippee skippy. Um, so, so far he's fine. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do on these is really we're just going to get it zeroed. We'll shoot some. We'll rack it off some hard stuff. We'll kick it around. Just do a simple little rough test simple stuff and uh just see how well these sites hold zero today and then we'll continue to test this over time probably the next month or two um just shooting it every time we come out and seeing how well it maintains zero over a moderate time frame words anyway enough of that let's get to zeroing all right, so for zeroing, we're at 25 yards, shooting off just a rest, and uh, we're just gonna go from there. All right, so here we go. Same thing, just different optics. This is the oak. We're gonna go ahead and shoot top left to get this guy zeroed in. I'm going to try this. I'm not sure that it's going to come across that well on camera. But if I stand here and shoot between two targets, you should be able to see if I hit stuff. And it might be more exciting than just watching the gun. But we're just going to shoot three mags worth and see, just see what happens. All right, pretty easy stuff as long as I do what I'm supposed to do, don't get too crazy. That's just three mags, or mostly three mags, two and a third. Um, let's rack this guy off some stuff. Let's just throw it around a little bit and see if we can knock it loose, all right? All right, definitely unloaded. This is just ground stuff. It's not concrete, nobody cares, whatever. There's that, do it again, there's that. We'll do it again. There's that. All right. Oh. Well, I wasn't particularly trying to be hard on this, but, uh, whoops. All right. So, uh, that was just dropping it on sand and rocks. I did not expect that at all. Is it still on? Yeah, okay. He's still on, but we did, uh, we did bust the glass on top. Holy cow. I did not expect that. I thought this was going to be easy on it. Okay, whatever. Well, let's shoot it. Okay, so here we go. Lo magazines loaded up. I did not. I honestly did not expect that to be that uh, uh, that aggressive. Um, I didn't really think that at all. Uh, however, a bunch of dirt and stuff, even with a couple drops that we did, 
it really gummed up the gun. So, and I took the gun apart, didn't oil it, but it's really being sticky. So maybe this is like super nasty sand. I don't know. It's just being weird. Hopefully the gun cycles. I didn't plan for this to be a test on the SIG, but holy cow. Hopefully it, hopefully it cycles and runs. We'll see. You can totally see me flinching now. Where'd that other round go? All right. Well, that's kind of stupid. I gotta take the SIG apart and clean it. All right, okay. hopefully you can see these are all three of those rounds that did not work. Um, yeah, they got light primer strikes. So they didn't go off. But uh, hopefully now it'll work. We just scrubbed it real quick with toothbrush. Feels much better. We sprayed some oil on it. So now hopefully the SIG will work. Honestly did not expect this kind of trouble. All right. At least the SIG is working now. trigger okay well I know that's only like a box of ammo or maybe a box and a half whatever that is 17 times whatever it is um, but since we already do have significant damage to the optic itself let's go ahead and put this guy back on paper we will see. I'll put the camera down there so you can see in time what happens. Or we might speed it up depending on how slow I shoot. And let's see. Let's see if this guy maintains ear after uh, 50, 40 rounds, whatever, and uh, some busted glass. Do you guys see that? Hopefully you can see that. The dot still works. Obviously, I was able to still hit steel. Um, but, yeah, that glass is cracked. All right, so let's shoot it. All right, hopefully you can see here, this is before we shoot, hopefully you can see this is gonna be all complicated, but needless to say, this is our last two shots, right, where I was like, this is a joke, like this is super accurate. So we did our first zero down here, three shots. Opened it up a little bit with three shots, that's definitely zero, okay? But we did all that stuff. I'm gonna shoot right here and see if we have a shift in zero. Hopefully we should have three shots right in here somewhere. All right, so this is a 25 yards, okay? We were shooting the same spot, 25 yards down there. We got one shot here, two shots down here. Technically, that would mean our zero fell a little bit, if you want to be real technical. In all reality, that's still a fist-sized group. Did zero shift and change? Yeah, sure did, a little bit. Three-round group, though. We're not shooting 10 rounds or five rounds or whatever. We're being cheap three rounds. So for having the glass busted, I mean, that's still good. You'd still hit an apple off somebody's head. I don't know. Um, that's up to you guys, how, how, how much you want these things to actually hold their zero. But that's the data that I have for you. Let's move on to the otter. All right, same rigmarole as last time, if I can talk. Um, here we go, let's do this. Now let's hope this guy doesn't decide to freaking break on us like the other one, but let's drop it a couple times. Tell you what. Can you see where this is hitting? Hopefully you can see. We're just dropping it and throwing it and being stupid. That's all we're doing. All right. Man, that is really gritty sand. Okay, so we did get a good strike on top. Didn't bust the glass. Red dot is still on. 
Yep. Still on a little bit. Let's give it a good throw down range. We'll load up some mags and see if she, if she still shoots. Okay, so here we are. You can see this, I think. Put the gun down. We have this right here. That is a definite drop shift in zero. And we didn't bust the glass on this one. Um, we really just got one good solid smack dent on top of the optic. And other than that, it seemed to be fine. I mean, we were putting hits on steel as long as I was doing what I was supposed to doing, be doing. Um, but we did get a shift in zero. And this is a 25 yards, and that's enough. I mean, that's three rounds. I understand that. I understand it's better to shoot more rounds for those things, for more data. But that seems more of a shift than that. Both of them shifted down, though, for whatever that means. But there you go. That's what's going on. Um, so that's the Otter from Zulissi. This guy right here. This is all zeroing and everything. You can see it was harder to get this guy zeroed. I'm not sure why. I was very impressed with the accuracy of the 320, um, but there seems to be a trade-off there between accuracy and dependability. The Glock 48 didn't hiccup really. I mean, it had a little sticky trigger, but it didn't really hiccup as much as the, uh, the SIG. The SIG failed to fire. After being dropped in the dirt, the SIG failed to fire. The Glock was perfectly fine. That's a side note, right? The optics themselves though, this is the data that we have for you. They both lost zero at 25, technically, even though this is still in that fist size group, depending on your level of uh, your standard, right? Dep depending on your standard, these did shift zero. How much is acceptable to you? That's totally up to you. But this is the data that I got for today. We'll keep using these, we'll keep testing them a little bit, um, and we'll see what happens over time. But that's what we got for you guys.